Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So the global data download just came through about an hour ago and we now have the details for three new free to play units that are dropping in about three days from now. I mean, technically it's two new awakenings that we already knew about and then one other completely new unit that I don't think anybody really saw coming, at least I didn't, and of course I'm talking about this new AGL Kid Trunks, great say a man. Oh, and also, the LR Full Power Frieza is dropping on Global at around the same time, but we kinda saw that coming, and I think I'll talk more about this guy in a separate video, so why don't we kick things off in this video with some details about the AGL Kid Trunks Great Saiyan man, and as far as I know, he's going to be completely free to play and acquired through a new Halloween event for this year, and also, he gets a Dokkan Awakening at launch, and let me tell you guys, this kid is actually amazing, alright? So he's called Little Great Saiyan Man of Mystery, Trunks Kid Great Saiyan Man, and his leader skill is Youth Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 50%, his Super Attack is Victory Cannon, which raises defense and causes supreme damage. So he is another one of those infinitely stacking defense units, which means he's going to be very effective, very, very good on the Legendary Goku event and the Infinite Dragon Ball History event. And I do plan to do some showcases with him on those events, so definitely stay tuned, guys. And moving on to his uh, passive skill, Suspicious Costume, which gives attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional attack plus 7% up to 70% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% up to 49% with each attack performed, launches an additional attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained and launches another additional attack with 5 or more key spheres obtained, recovers HP with candy, and his links are Courage, Innocence, Money, 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 Royal Lineage, Budding Warrior, Hero of Justice, and Shattering the Limit. So, Link set obviously not the greatest, but that passive is pretty insane, guys. Look at that. So, attack and defense plus 70%, and then up to another 70% after he does 10 attacks. But if you're doing like the Infinite Dragon Ball History or um, Legendary Goku event, he's definitely going to get that full boost at some point. And also... Uh, up to 49% chance to crit, and he can, in theory, launch up to 4 attacks if you include the hidden potential 2, up to 4 attacks. And uh, I'm not sure if those 2 additional attacks can be supers, uh, that remains to be seen, but if these can be supers, then maybe he can launch up to 4 supers in a turn? Possibly, that sounds kind of crazy. So maybe these 2 are only normal attacks, I'm not really sure right now, but... It seems pretty crazy to me, man. That is a pretty, pretty wild passive, and he raises defense infinitely. So, uh, yeah, like I said, he's going to be really good on those longer events. And uh, next up, we have the Dokkan Awakening for the Int Gotenks and Ghost, or better known as Ghost Tanks. And let's see how close we got. Okay, so, and as far as how close we got, I mean like my predictions, because I did make a prediction video earlier today. So, uh, as far as leader skill goes, fusion category Q plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 50%, so I think I was pretty spot on with that one. I said either 50% or 70% for fusion, so 50%, not too bad. And super is super ghost kamikaze attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So, uh, I said something weird about like, maybe he can also seal the enemy too, which Thinking back doesn't make the most sense, so that was kind of dumb. Passive is Julius Frolic. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, so that's the same as before. Recovers 7,777 HP um, and attack and defense plus 30% per rainbow key sphere obtained. Recovers HP with candy. So this, I believe, is an increase from 6,666. And the attack and defense is new. So 30% per rainbow key sphere obtained, that is, that is wild. Yo, so he of course does provide himself with those rainbow key spheres. So let's say you get five spheres, that is 150%, which is the max because you can't get more than five rainbow key spheres uh, per rotation, right? So if you get those five spheres, that is a huge boost to this guy. Um, he's going to be hitting pretty hard. 
he's gonna be hitting pretty hard. I mean, I really was wishing, I was really hoping that he would be a support for fusions, because I was saying in the video that um, fusions really needs more good supports, but you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. He's still an amazing healer, he's still a great uh, stunner, and now he can actually do some damage with those Rainbow Spheres. So that's cool. That's totally cool. His links are Innocence, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Fuse Fighter, and Shattering the Limit. I think Prepare for Battle is new. I think Prepare for Battle. Oh, it's not. What's new then? Um, we got Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Innocence. Shattering the limit. Shattering the limit is new. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so that is the ghost tanks. Pretty freaking solid if you ask me. And then we have Candy Vegito uh, right over here. Okay, so the tiniest top-notch hero, Candy Vegito. Uh, leader skill is attack and defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained. I was hoping they would make him a Patara leader, but like I said in the video before, I mean, realistically, they were only going to increase his passive by a little bit, or his uh, leader skill by a little bit, so it went from 7% attack and defense, I believe, yeah, 7% per key sphere obtained to now 10%, so he's still pretty useless in that department. Uh, super attack, amazing rush, raises attack and defense, and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Once again, infinite stack on the attack and defense, so another very good unit for um, the Legendary Goku event, and also the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History event, and more showcases coming for this guy too. And let's see what else. Uh, frontal Breakthrough, great chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks, disables enemies guard, attack and defense plus 10% per tech key sphere obtained, or defense plus 10% per non-tech key sphere obtained. So as predicted, I did say this, uh, I predicted he was gonna become a nuker. I mean, actually I changed my prediction like midway through the video saying he would get counters instead, but I first said he was gonna be a, a nuker. So I was like, at least initially, right? So uh, that's not bad, that's not bad. I mean, it's not a huge boost, but like I said, I mean, it makes a huge difference to him because he actually didn't get any attack or defense before he Dokkan Awakened, so uh, that's nice. Now he can actually do some damage, and uh, then I read this, recovers HP with Candy, which is, of course, not super useful outside of the Halloween event. And the links are more than meets the eye, in fighter, shocking speed, over in a flash, power bestowed by God, shattering the limit, and supreme power. Once again, no fused fighter. I wanted him to get fused fighter just because I feel like it makes sense, but it is what it is. That's totally fine. So those are the three new new units, two new awakenings, one new unit that are coming with uh, the Halloween event, I guess, or Halloween celebration. And we also got the LR Full Power Frieza, which like I said, I'll talk more about in a, another video. But before we go, why don't we actually quickly look at the token attacks, or did I say token attacks? Um, super attack animations of the three new units. And I gotta give credit to DBZ World for always getting these out so quickly. Uh, let's drop him a like real quick. And without further ado guys, let's check out these new animations together, starting with the pre-awakened super attack of the um, Kid Trunks Great Saiyan Man. So this is the first one here. Okay, so his helmet gets knocked off, all right. And Victory Cannon, I think they're actually gonna be both the exact same, most likely. Um, Cause I believe the TUR form also has Victory Cannon. I'm not sure if they're gonna be any different. I don't think so. I don't think so, they look the same to me so far. Unless I missed something. But it's nice, it, it's cute, it's cute. Like how he <laughs> notices the helmet on the ground and then puts it back on. I like it, I like it, all right. So the next one is for the ghost tanks. And aside from that image right there, is that new? Oh, that's new, okay, this is new. I think this is new, unless it's not. Yo, these animations could be the exact same, and I might not even notice because I don't really pay too much attention to these units when I'm using them right now, right? So, uh, I'm not really sure if anything's changed, to be honest, for the Ghost Tanks and also the Candy Vegito. Like, this looks the same too. Has anything changed? I don't think so. All right, oh, and we also have the animations for the Full Power Frieza, which I will not show here, since like I said, I'm reserving that for a separate video. But let's go back to DBZ Space here. 
And uh, yeah, guys, those are the animations. These are the cards. I gave you guys all the details. I'm very, very excited for sure about this Kid Trunks Saiyan Man. And um, I think he's going to be really, really good on, you know, Legendary Goku event and Infinite Dragon Ball history and just regular events in general, too. He's going to be a very, very good card. And the Kenny Vegito here is also going to be an extremely good unit for those events. Um, the Gotenks, unfortunately, is going to be a little bit less effective, but he's still probably going to be pretty good since he does heal. And um, I mean, the stun won't really help you too much against Goku. But the healing does help, right? And he also can do probably some pretty massive damage now with the right amount of orbs, the right amount of rainbow orbs. So yeah, I'm excited for all of them. I definitely think that this guy's the most exciting. I can't wait to farm him out, get him rainbow, do the showcase for you guys. And uh, that's it, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.